guys, welcome back to Video Miss Day 14. Yeah, so today's video is going to be a short one and a different one I've not done before for movies. It's going to be a short movie review of the 2023 Amazon Prime exclusive Candy Cane Lane starring Eddie Murphy. Yeah, it's going to be a short video. Just telling you potentially some of the plot, who's in, who stars in it, and what I thought. I'm not going to go too into detail, I'm not going to reveal any spoilers in that. I just have to get something out to you guys real quick. Yeah. So, basically, the premise of the movie is that a man who, his name is Chris Carver, he is played by Eddie Murphy, he's determined to win the neighbourhood's annual Christmas decorating contest. You might see this movie pop up in top five best on fa the more favorite Christmas movies at the end of this year, but who knows? Yeah, so he basically wants to win the neighborhood's yearly decorating contest, which then he thinks he he was good, which then he is he since his name is Carver he does carve animals and angels and all that stuff. Yeah. But he makes a pact with an elf who is played by the, I wouldn't say incredible, but the f funny Jillian Bell. Yeah, she, though, can be sometimes not funny in her movies, but this one, I thought she was that right part of funny and then she was also kind of brutal because once you figure it once you watch the movie you will know what i mean yeah so he basically makes a pact with her which then causes the you know the 12 days of christmas song as in to come to life which then causes chaos to happen to the whole town yeah so i'll say the movie started off pretty slowly but it once it, it's once it started rolling i enjoyed it a lot probably a lot more than what most critics say because let's say on imdb it's got a 5.6 out of 10 i would definitely give it more than a 5.6 to me it felt kind of original for something christmas wise which then I'm just a, I'm also a big Eddie Murphy fan, which I think he, he's perfect for like these family comedies, yeah, it was, didn't need to, I felt like it didn't need to be nearly two hours, but all in all, I still enjoyed it, yeah, I would definitely recommend it to anyone who's either a Christmas fan, an Eddie Murphy fan, and just it does take some wacky turns there because you've got, for example, you've got, I don't know if you can see that, but those are three, I guess they're technically figurines or statues. Yeah, once you watch the movie, they'll make sense. So yeah, the voice talent of them was really good as well because you had people such as Nick, Nick Offerman from Parks and Rec. Uh, Chris Reed, who played the lamp lighter Gary, and then Robin Thede, I could be wrong, playing Cordella, and then the super group, acapella group, uh, Pentatonics as the singing carolers. Yeah. So I will probably give this movie 3.5 out of 5. I once, like I said before, I recommend it to people that enjoy Christmas, Eddie Murphy, and just feel good movies a lot of the time. Yeah, so all in all, it was a good movie, but just remember to make your own mind up of what movies. Don't listen to reviews, but then yeah, if you don't like it, that's okay. But I enjoyed it, so please don't take my opinion as. A bad opinion because that's what opinions are yeah so i'll see you tomorrow for video miss day 15.
you can click the little red subscribe button down below but i'm not forcing you to at all so yeah see ya thanks for this even though it really wasn't a review